a beautiful February day here in Ann Arbor, and I come to, there's a tennis facility, but I come to the Ralph Bonner Wrestling Facility here. It's not even all the way finished, but the Michigan Wolverines are in it, and I got Coach Kozicki, What's up, Zeb? How you doing? Josh, nice. Trella, and Ryan, and they're going to take me through the facility. Right, guys? All right. All right, where are we at right now, guys? It's the lobby. Come on in. The lobby. All right, cool. The lobby what? with no graphics yet. All right, but what are they eventually going to be? What's going to go on in here? You know, next time when I come up in the summer, what will it be? There's like? going to be a kiosk here, like a digital kiosk, where you can go through and there'll be um, like records, and you can pull up any history on the U of M program. And then all here, obviously, here is going to be some graphics. Uh, I think it's like brush nickel, and it's going to say uh, the Bana Wrestling Facility. And then we'll have a bunch of awards that they're making right now. Uh, they're just fabricating a bunch of awards and uh, different graphics. They're going to have some murals done that are like pre-done. And uh, it'll just give it some, a nice finishing touch in here. So, Okay, who's Ralph Bana? Ralph Bana was a wrestling alumni here um, who uh, went on and uh, is uh, pretty prominent. Started a couple uh, very... Uh, very good businesses, so to speak, and uh, it's a big alumni that um, you know, wanted to give back to the wrestling uh, you know, community, and um, you know, we're very fortunate to have him. He's supported us you know, through the years that he wrestled here, uh, here under Cliff Keen, and uh, he just wants to help out the, the Michigan wrestling tradition. All right, where are we going next? We'll just take it through here. We're going to start off uh, to the right of the team lounge. We'll hit that in a second. Okay. Um, but Right here we have uh, the coaches' offices, which they moved over here from uh, uh, Weinbach Hall, where a lot of the other athletic coaches is. <coughs> coaches' offices. Yeah, are. I'll take a look at all these. So the, they're still just finishing things up, right, guys? Well, we're pretty much done. They're just doing some some extra wiring. There's definitely some interior work that's yeah. got to be done still. This is Coach Trost and Coach uh, Kozicki's offices. Trost, Kozicki. Yeah, that's where I get where I get it done every day. Every day, man. Right. Yeah. And you got a window now. I, I do have a window. I gotta get on my tippy toes to look out the window, but it's a window. All right. Some natural light. All right. Where are you two at? Where's your? Where are you guys housed? These are for us, and then any of the, the, the wrestlers that need to use computers. Ryan pops his head over there. Yeah. I'm around as much just because I've been training and traveling, wrestling a little bit. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. We have that, and then Coach McFarland's office. You know what? Here. What I like about McFarland's, I like that there is a uh, a silver, yeah. there's a 2005 runner-up finish right behind him. I like that. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. We got, yeah. A couple Big Ten titles, too, huh? Yeah. We're going to get some more back, man. That's what we're working on right now. Okay. You know? Cool. Hey. And I like that. Those who yeah. stay will be... Ch That's from the old room, right? That's from the old... That was from our old locker room. That's from Christ Arena. That was put in there in the late 60s. That's cool. Yeah. Real cool. It's been in our program since the late 60s. So. That's real cool. All right, Coach. Oh, and I don't think he's got a big enough LCD there, does he? Has he got a big enough TV in there? we got a few of them. Yeah, we got quite a few of them. Okay, and this is how I have to get upstairs the elevator, right? Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, well, I'll, I'll take the steps to. today. I'll take the steps today. But you guys just finished up practice. That's right. How much mat space do we have here, Coach Kozicki? It's, it's 7,500 uh, square feet of wrestling mat. So it's, I would think it's got to be one of the biggest uh, wrestling uh, mat space facilities in the country. Okay, and we got Tyrell. He just, he just, he just kind of like. He's horse the chocolate milk right now. <laughs> <laughs> to the trails. Yeah, he's got the chocolate milk, but. Well, these mats aren't typical mats. They're 50 by 50, correct? Yeah. Yes. So these aren't 42 by 42. No, so they're bigger than most uh, mats you'll see in a wrestling room. Um, probably the size of our competition mat. I think these are each the size of the competition mat we, we wrestle on. But we got our cardio equipment at the end down, at both ends, with the airdynes and treadmills and <coughs> different equipment there. Uh, we got three TVs. Um, that yeah, all, those are huge. Yeah, there's 65 inch plasmas, and they each have a camera underneath them, which you can rotate, you know, 180 degrees, and basically it's set up to its own TiVo box, and what it does is it works just like a DVR, and you can record your workout. Oh, wow, there's the camera. You can go back and, you know, you know, click back 30 second replay. Just and, like at the Olympic Training yeah, Center. Yeah, similar to what they have at Olympic Training Center, but um, I'd say one step up just because we have, we're hooked up to our computers through those as well, so we can send any of that information to our PCs. Really? Yep. So if we want to, you know, so if we're on Flow Wrestling and we want to check out the Technique Wave, we could just pull it up, shoot it right to the TV, and I have our guys watch it. Really? Thanks so that, for Flow. That's nice. Yeah, no problem. How many bikes? It's like quite a few. <laughs> over 10 bikes. Yeah, All the starters can be doing bike sprints, huh? That's right. So we had them doing today. Two treadmills down at this end, correct? Two treadmills. Inclined treadmills. Uh, two ellipticals. Yeah, new marble sprints. And a new rope machine too. Oh, we gotta get that rope machine. I, I want to see how that thing works. 
Yeah. Pretty sweet. In here as well, they're going to have graphics on all the walls, our national champs from the past, all Americans, um, different awards and stuff. Kind of similar. Uh, I'm pretty sure the same company that did Penn State's yeah. facilities is doing the, uh, the interior work on, on this place. So, yeah, don't miss our club soccer match right there. Yeah, yeah. I see, get some I see. soccer going for a warm-up sometimes. Active rest days. Active. Oh, active rest days. I like that. That's good. Oh, yeah. So now we got... Go ahead, guys. This is the coaches' locker room. Locker room. Coaches only. All oh, you four, just you four and Coach McFarland, right? Trost, yeah. And Coach Trost. Tro Tro oh, can't, can't skip Trost. But these. Coach, are Dr. Tannenbaum when he comes in. Dr. Tannenbaum. Yep. Okay, show me, does. show me how big this footstool is. Who's got the? Uh, I, I think I've got the biggest footstool. As you can see, it's loaded with uh, sweats and shoes and and all kinds of good. The other ones here. And there's me, and Ty, me and Ty get the little smaller ones. <laughs> you got the, you got the holes. You got to work your way out. Dry out. I mean, it's pretty. Pretty nice setup. Pretty Those nice. Are great. Okay, and then of course, Crazy. of course, another TV. And you guys, this is actually set up for uh, satellite, it's satellite and the whole nine yards, right? Yeah. Pretty sweet. And then, of course, for those muscles. And this is only in the coaches, right? Yeah. Only in coaches. Only in the coaches. Yeah. You guys use this. Th you use this bad boy or what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's especially with a lot of our guys that are training like Josh and. And Tyrell, but you know, training for you know, 2010 world, you know, world team and, and Olympics. And, Man, that thing's you know, sweet. That hot box is. Uh, smells good. Had a good workout in there yesterday. Did you? Oh yeah. And then you guys got separate stalls, stalls too. You yeah. don't have to take, you don't have to shower together. No. no. That's sweet, right? Nice. Yeah. It's kind of. Got four showers. It's like it's over in the other locker room too. It's the first like. Yeah, I've never seen it like that. I've never seen like that. It's kind of weird. Pretty sweet though. Yeah. All right, and then that's what that's that's our contents right there. That's how big the. Actual closet. Yeah, that's actual locker. And those are bigger. The corners are better, huh? Yeah. All right. So, we come out, back into the room. That's a nice commute to work. Oh, you look like you got bionic knees, huh? Yep. Bionicles. And then here, there's your guys' office. Yeah, that's looking. You can actually be at your computer right here, right? Yep. And there's a looking out. So. Pretty sweet. Nice. Apparently, we lost everybody else. Yeah, let's go. But we'll keep going. We'll keep going. We'll just this way back now. They'll find us. We got, we got bathrooms in the lobby. Okay. Upstairs that run just straight up from here. And then once again, how I have to get up the steps. <laughs> Elevator. Coming to the team lounge. This is really nice for the guys, something we've never had in the past. Uh, just somewhere they can come before and after practice in the mornings, after early morning workouts, get their homework done. We'll have two computers here for them to work on as well. And then they have a PS3, all the components you would basically need for entertainment unit. Yeah, uh, and this is, and, and, yeah, it, 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 is a, this is a ping pong table, same size, yeah. but it's just set up as a conference table as well. So they can Slap the, the net right here and giddy up. Yeah, yeah we wanted this you know, facility to be a, a place for the guys, you know, basically to be a home for the guys. You Are know? you guys jealous a little bit? Um, no, because uh, I'm here coaching and I, I, I still get to enjoy. If I was done and elsewhere, yeah, I'd be jealous. But you know, this is a, you know something that we've been we've been you know working for, and I think we deserve this facility, and it's something that we're very fortunate to have. This, once again, <laughs> got it all going. Okay, this is my favorite part right here. Yeah. Favorite part right here. Zab's juice bar. Yes. So and look. Gatorade water. Uh, the liquid multivitamin and B12 for the guys. Uh, Which, they can take. you you got to listen here. You only need a little bit of that, right? Yeah. Yes. I found out the hard way. You drink a whole cup, right? <laughs> Almost. Chalk them out for recovery, too. There you go. Cool. That, and, and then, of course, the grub. But we don't need, you know, we don't know if we're going we to be able to get in there. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get into the, to the locker room. Yeah, we can. Guys might be showering. You never know. We need, we need someone scouting ahead, you know? Make sure you got some clothes on or a towel. So here we go. We got... You come right out of the locker room, into the room, the recovery bar, and wait, waiting for guys to, to get clothed. You come in here, and the boy, the boys, you know, and, and luckily, you know, we got everybody, we got everybody closed, right, Coach, K, Coach K? Of course. All right. Well, first off, when we come in here, got the skip. Most important. Right. Yeah. One of the one of the two scales we got in here. Okay. These guys have the same. Their their foot lockers aren't as big as your guys in the lounge, in the coach's locker, correct? Um. No, but they still they still have quite a bit of space oh. in there. 
you know, throw their shoes on and air out their gear and stuff like that. And they got plenty of room there in their lockers, and it's basically the same lockers, you know, that that we have. Same wood and you know, same same idea. So. And they can lounge in here and watch. Apparently, Olympic hockey because that's important. That's right. All right. Well, then we can go right into the uh, through, here. through here. Everybody's clothed, right? Don't walk out here for So, so we're gonna check it out here. We're gonna go through, and they actually, this is where we were just where, where we where we retrieved them from. And it, there's the there's the showers. Another scale, and then we come through here, and this is my favorite right here, man. Yeah. This is our recovery station right here. We got a, a hot plunge, hot tub and a cold plunge for recovery. What are you in right now? Hot pool. Hot pool? Cold. Yeah. Oh. But, uh, that thing's miserable right there. Yeah. But, you, you know, but it's good recovery. Uh, it's really it's good. good recovery. 95 years. 95? 105. 105? Just around 50. around 50? Yeah. You get it. You get in there a lot. And let those those yeah. bad boys recover. This is basically the same setup they had at the Olympic Training Center, where we took it from, mm -hmm. and uh, just kind of tried to duplicate that. Really uh, rejuvenates the body. Going cool. From hot tub to cold tub. This is hot, hot, cold. Something Andy Miller always wanted, and then we finally got it. <laughs> yeah. well, luckily, he took off, right? <laughs> he might be back, but you never know. Really? Well, you, you literally yeah. never know with him, right? Well, then they got the trainer has a station, yeah, a yeah, workstation. Look at it. Trainers got TV too. And then when you're getting therapy, you can watch, watch what you want, the remotes right there, and come back out into the mat room. We're gonna have to go up and around. Mm -hmm. Oh, this cardio, I didn't actually yeah. get a... Uh, we just got this rope machine today. Sweet rope machine. So we'll have to go back around, because they got uh, some things going here, but this thing's sweet. Yeah. I really like that. Yeah. Stair stepper and the real runner. The real runners. The real runners. The guy's got it all, man. Yeah. Guys got it all. We're trying. We're trying to get. You know, we still got some more equipment coming in, and obviously, like Ryan said earlier, we're gonna you know have our All Americans, national champs, and we're getting some murals put up of some paintings of some of the wrestlers, and just to add it a little bit more, make it more Michigan friendly in here. All right. And we well, got a remote over there too. It's that digital remote on top. Yeah. And we can control everything in the, all the audio video in the facility with that. Um, all of our speaker system. Every TV can be controlled with that, and the uh, cameras as well, so it makes it nice. It's convenient. Pretty sweet. Yeah. Real sweet. And uh, Zeb, you can see we got natural sunlight coming in. Yeah. yeah no dungeon out. effect. Nope. No, we, you know. Not in the bowels of Chrysler anymore. No, definitely not. We've actually, you know, quite, quite a few times this year we've seen the sun rise and the sun set, you know, because we were here for morning practice, you know, open the shades, saw the sun rise, and then, you know, after practice at night, Sunset, so. Well, let's get That's upstairs, man. We'll, go up. we'll check it out upstairs. Kind of brings the rest oh. of the facility together, and uh, we'll check it out.